Mom? I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. Everyone is treating me like some sort of goody two-shoes, Mom. They're just jealous that you're such a perfect citizen of Hill Valley. Have I always been this way? Always been a perfect little son? Going on 18 years now. What about that time I set fire to the living room? Oh, but you only did that so you could show us the fire retardant you made with your chemistry set. Heavy. I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer. What a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She totally blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscopes and ant farms, and a little more time tending to her needs. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. You see? I, uh, lost my timesheet. What have I got going on this week? Well, Monday is Junior Brown Brigade. Junior what now? And Tuesday is Model UN. Model UN? Mm-hmm. You represent Djibouti. On Wednesday, you'll be overseeing the board game club at the Rex Okay, Center. okay, I've heard enough. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Uh, Mom, are you, a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom. It's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad, Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine? No! Mom? Mom, look, I'm on your side. If you've got a problem, I want to help. But this is a choice you got to make yourself. Oh, look at you. You're such a sweet boy. I'm so glad you take after me rather than your father. What, Lorraine? What? Ugh! I can't live like this! Dad, you're not helping. Oh, but I disagree, Martin. It's important that I catch her in the act so I can get it on tape. Once it's on tape, I can show her that she has a problem. That's ridiculous, Dad. You're acting like this is some kind of sting operation. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. There. What did you just hide? That was some sort of fruity liqueur. It's a spray bottle of simple orange for the cleaning I'm trying to do! Lorraine, I'm sorry. It's just that you're acting so cagey lately. Cagey? Maybe I'm acting like I don't want to be spied on all the time. It's not all the time, Lorraine. I do sleep occasionally, you know. Mom? Is it just me, or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. 
Biff told me that he got in trouble for public displays of affection. Can you believe it? Sure, things got a little out of control back in the 60s with the free love and all, but now even holding hands will get you a verbal warning. Wait, so you can't even kiss? Can't even hug. It's barbaric. City Hall treats us like a bunch of children going to the movies. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Mom, please. Yeah, Lorraine, listen to us. Ugh! Damn it, Dad! What? Butt out! Mom? Mom? Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Hey, is that... No! Lorraine, don't ignore me! Lorraine! No! Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. Yes! Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. <laughs> but it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors, and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. You, young citizen, where did you get that... that... booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him. Severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Officer Parker? Move along, Citizen, and stay out of trouble! Can I take a look in there? No! 
Once an item has been placed in the decycling bin, it's gone. Forever. Look, I really need to see Citizen Brown. It's an emergency. Are you on fire? Of course not. Are you bleeding profusely on the pavement? No, but it's a... Then it's no emergency that couldn't wait for a scheduled appointment. Good day. Biff mentioned that dogs are long gone from Hill Valley, but I can't imagine they caught every stray. Locked. She missed a spot. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. That leads to the soup mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Not interested. It's just another brick in the wall. They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Biff mentioned that dogs are long gone from Hill Valley. I can't imagine they caught every stray. Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Ugh. Good thing I'm not hungry. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech! Was that Jennifer? Well, A. It's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more, yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. Where are the free samples? Here, I keep them behind the counter. Oh god. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little SOB. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. 
You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. You got a cold or something? Ah, oh, it's allergies. I swear, there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah, and the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. See ya. Smell you later. Hey, hey! There's that mangy. <laughs> Go get him, McFly! My spray can? Oh. <laughs> Dork. What is it now? You haven't seen a stray dog around here, have you? Not since they were banned. You know anything about that dog that just came through here? You're seeing things, McWeirdo. There hasn't been a dog in Hill Valley for years, not since Big Brown banned them. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Leech is a wastoid. Come on, Jen. It's you and me. Dream on, McFly. We might have had a thing for about ten minutes, but you're not even in the same league as Leech. You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. Okay, so where's your guitar, McLoser? Ah. Uh, I should have known. All talk, no rock. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kinda popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! He's gotta be hiding in here somewhere. 
You in there, Einie? Or whatever your name is these days? Not a sign of him. Not interested. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Could he be hiding? Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. I bet you're under here. A sign of him. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. She missed a spot. Stray never leaves any clues to Where could he be hiding? Stay put now, boy, wherever you are. Not a sign of him. It would look better blue. Now we're in business. Decency prevents me from leaving this here. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einy. Look, Einy, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. 
I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? What is it, boy? Down! Sit! Play dead! Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen! Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of Statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beast. Don't worry, Einie. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romp it through time. Now stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. <laughs>